Good morning, folks. We've got a solar storm ongoing, weather events in the top alert tonight, electroquakes, climate change, and the search for extraterrestrial life. Let's get started at spaceweathernews.com, finding the last 24 hours on our star. Big coronal holes still dominate our visibility, and we've been awaiting their fast solar wind. Yesterday's news saw solar wind still at lower levels. The alert came through our app midday when the stream began to arrive, and hopefully you got the geomagnetic storm alert as the speed continued rising throughout the evening. We are still now in a low-level disruption. Luckily, the stream peaked, so these non-major storm levels are likely to be the max. We are also seeing a slight rise in the X-ray flux, the solar flares. This is due to an incoming active region at the eastern limb. Just now coming into view, we will be monitoring that one this week. Of course, we do still have another coronal hole swinging in. We'll magnetically connect for an earthquake watch to it, either tonight or tomorrow. Major flood events occurred on the big island of Hawaii. Over a dozen hikers had to be rescued as a torrent came down the mountain. In India, it is the same molecule from the same part of the sky, but a different phase state. Snowstorms cutting off much of the northern part of India and driving widespread blackouts as well. It is still in the 90s down in the subcontinent, by the way. Folks, there's a major weather watch for this evening. Delta pressure set. Right now, the models only tell us that wherever the convergence is around sunset is going to take major storms. Cold, dry air meeting warm, moist air is a recipe for a rough night tonight and tomorrow up through New England. Eyes open and be safe out there. Interesting study on the ionosphere shows that anomalies during solar storms are greater than expected. Not only does this matter for geomagnetic effects, but for the global electric circuit and solar forcing of the terrestrial climate. Speaking of climate, turns out that the newest global data set does not comport with global warming theory. They looked at different latitudes across the globe, stratosphere versus troposphere, and things just weren't adding up. The woman who inspired the movie Contact and Jodie Foster's character is featured in a great Harvard piece on searching for life outside the Earth. She believes we will indeed meet our first extraterrestrial biology in this century. A number of 2015 Pakistan and Nepalese earthquakes were analyzed and there was a significant positive anomaly in the critical frequency of the ionosphere 10 days preceding the Pakistan quake, but not the Nepal event. Interesting. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got your wind maps and shots of our star to close, and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now. It's 4.20 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.